it's Zana and welcome to Year 2 Phonics. It's lesson 65. It's a review lesson today. So we're going to go through all the stuff we've been doing earlier in the week. Are you ready to warm up with your grapheme deck? Let's go. Let's see how quickly you can do it today. Two sounds. S, z, j. End of words. Because no English word ends in a J. R. Soft sound. S, soft sound. Two sounds voiced, th, unvoiced, th. Long sound, u, short sound, a. Uh. E. Three sounds, past tense, d, d, t. Air. Ch, after a short vowel and a short word. Two sounds, short sound, o, uh, long sound, o. Uh. E, short sound, I, long sound, I. F, long sound, A, short sound, A. N, E, use your end of words. Ow, E and E and A. Well done. Did you get all three? Let's double check. Did you get them? It's e is an eat. E is in bread, A is in break. It's a tricky one. Okay, can you remember what we're doing today for what we're reviewing? We are reviewing all the different graphemes that the long I sound can make. And we had a little memory prompt just to help us because there's so many of them. So we got our shy tiger tried to hide at night behind the tire. Lots of different alternative spellings for that one long I sound. We've done a bit of practice with some words and we're going to use some more today in our dictation and look for some more in our reading. We've also been learning about the suffix meant. Remember meant turns a verb into a noun. It's the result of or the act of something. Like judgment is the result of judging. Good job. Okay. Got something to write on and something to write with because our first thing to do today in our review lesson is our dictation. We're going to write a sentence using lots of those different I sounds. Don't worry though, if you need help, I will help you with the spelling. Okay, you ready to go? This is the sentence. If you get it straight away, you can always pause and go off and write. If you need help, stay with me. Our sentence is, at twilight, the magpie dived to the pavement to catch a fly. Whoa, big sentence. Let's do it again. At twilight, the magpie dived to the pavement to catch a fly. Ah, last time. At twilight, the magpie dived to the pavement, pavement to catch a fly. Did you get it all? Even with my tricky twisty bits? Okay. You can write it on your own if you like. If not, let's break it down into its sections, okay, into its phrases. Ready? First one, at twilight. Now remember, what do we start our sentences with? Capital letter. And I, twilight, that's a tricky word because it has two I sounds in it. So remember the first one is that and the second one is I-G-H. Twilight, at twilight. Write that. Come back for the next word. So we've got at twilight. Now let's add the next phrase. The magpie dived. The magpie dived. Magpie. Oh, I, magpie, that one. And then dived. It's a split vowel. And remember, we've got to drop the E to add past tense ED, so there's not two E's at the end. The magpie dived. At twilight, the magpie dived. Write it. Come back when you've done that bit. Good job. So you should have at twilight, the magpie dived. Next part. To the pavement. To the pavement. Ah, now the A in pavement is like the split vowel one. But it's with an A instead of an I. To the pavement. Pave. Mint. There's our mint suffix. Pavement. So at twilight, the magpie dived to the pavement. 
We come back. Why did he dive to the pavement? To catch a fly. To catch a fly. And it's why at the end, making I in fly. Don't forget the full stop at the end. Okay, let's read through the sentence. Let's check first. Do we have a capital letter at the start? Full stop at the end. Excellent. Let's check it makes sense now. As I say the sentence, follow under your words and make sure you've got them all. Correct them if you haven't. At twilight, the magpie dived to the pavement to catch a fly. One more time just to check you got all the words. At twilight, the magpie dived to the pavement to catch a fly. Full stop. Excellent. Okay, how did you go? Let's check it. Now remember when we're checking, you need to look carefully at the screen, carefully down at your work. Do one word at a time to make sure you've got them all correct. Did you get these eyes here? In twilight? Magpie? Split vowel one there and dived. There's the meant from pavement and the Y making I and fly. Make sure you get all those spellings right. At twilight, the magpie dived to the pavement to catch a fly. What do you think it was doing with that fly? I think it was dinner. Do you think it was dinner? I think it would have been dinner for the magpie at twilight. Remember, twilight is that time of night just before the sunset. So it's that in between daytime and nighttime. That's twilight. That's what yeah, that funny word is you might not be sure of. Good job. All right, we've done our writing. You know what comes next, don't you? It's time to read. Our story today has lots of eyes in it and it has some ments in it. You know, have a listen out and see what you can see. Our story today is a story about an arachnid. Hmm, an arachnid. Heard that word before? Arachnid is a fancy word or a scientific word for a spider. So it's a story about a child who spots an arachnid. And they're a little bit of a spider enthusiast, this person. So they like spiders. It's definitely not a story about me. All right, so let's see how we go. This scientific person with their arachnids, another fancy word for spider. It would horrify most people to know how much I delight in catching and classifying arachnids. Remember arachnids are spiders. Never in my life have I been able to locate a particular type of gigantic spider. The best time to hunt for spiders is night time when the weather is dry. Knowing this, I waited outside in the long grass with my equipment ready to catch a glimpse. I spied something glimmering in the moonlight. Ooh, wonder what it is. I swung around to spot the most magnificent web I had ever seen. In it was a butterfly and dragonfly fighting against the web, trying their hardest to survive. I slowly crept in closer, careful not to scare anything away. Imagine if it was the orb spider's web that I was longing to locate. I stared in amazement as slim, hairy legs appeared gracefully onto the shimmering web. I held my breath. Finally, there it was. The spider was gliding across the web. I zoomed in with my stylish magnifier. The spider was as beautiful as I had imagined. I quickly took out my camera to take a snap. As the shutter clicked, the web vibrated and the orb scurried away to a new hideout. I cried with disappointment. Mm. So what happened in that story? There was a child or somebody, we think it might have been a child, who was waiting to spot a special kind of arachnid, which is spider. They were after a gigantic spider. They were looking for a gigantic spider. Did they find one? Yeah, they did. They found it. There was a big web. It was in a big web 
and it had caught a dragonfly and a butterfly. They were struggling in there to survive. Because what happens to insects when they get caught in webs? They become dinner, don't they? Yeah. So I don't think the dragonfly and the butterfly wanted to be dinner. And they found these slim, hairy legs coming through. And it was a special kind of spider. It was an orb spider. They are really big spiders that make really big webs. So this person had been trying really hard to locate this gigantic orb spider. And they were so lucky to go out on a nice dry night to catch a glimpse of one. All right. Ready to do your echo reading? You're going to read along with me. I'm going to scoop the phrases and you're going to read them after me. Remember when we read them, we need to have expression in our voices. This is a really interesting story. We don't want it to sound boring and like a robot. So we're going to read really, really, really fluently. Okay. You ready to follow me? Let's go. It would horrify most people... To know how much I delight in catching and classifying arachnids. Never in my life have I been able to locate a particular type of giant spider. The best time to hunt for spiders is night time, when the weather is dry. Knowing this, I waited outside in the long grass with my equipment ready to catch a glimpse. I spied something glimmering in the moonlight. I swung around to spot the most magnificent web I had ever seen. So exciting, it's got an exclamation mark there. In it was a butterfly and dragonfly fighting against the web, trying their hardest to survive. I slowly crept in closer, careful not to scare anything away. Imagine if it was the orb spider's web that I was longing to locate. I stared in amazement as slim, Hairy legs appeared gracefully onto the shimmering web. I held my breath. Finally, there it was. The spider was gliding across the web. I zoomed in with my stylish magnifier. The spider was as beautiful as I had imagined. I quickly took out my camera to take a snap. As the shutter clicked, the web vibrated and the orb scurried away to a new hideout. I cried with disappointment. Oh, poor person, they'd waited all this time. Have you ever looked for insects before in the garden at night time? Have you ever used a magnifying glass? They talk here about a magnifier, looking really carefully at something with a magnifying glass. Did you have to move slowly and quietly so you didn't scare it, like the person in this story? How do you think this person feels about spiders and where in the text can we find how they feel about spiders? Do you think they like them? How do we know? What do you see? What can you find in here that tells us that this person might like spiders? What do you think? What can you find in the text? Have a read through. See if you can find some words or phrases in the text that 
tell us that the author of this likes spiders. Ah, I can find a word here. It says, I delight in catching and classifying arachnids. Delight means I find it exciting and delightful. So that's one way there. Never in life. Whoa, I spied something glimmery. It was a magnificent web. I thought the web was magnificent. It wasn't, oh, I saw this big, yucky, horrible web in the middle of my garden. So they think the web is magnificent. That shows us that they like that. And they also, they went outside in night time and they waited just to catch a glimpse. They're happy just even for a little tiny look of this spider. So they think spiders are that great, they're happy to wait just to see it. What else have we got? I saw the butterfly and dragonfly. They weren't that interested in those. Slowly kept, they didn't want to scare anything away. They didn't want to scare anything. So that was making it, they really want to see it. I think they're excited about spiders. I was longing to locate it. If you're longing for something, it means you really want it. Stared in amazement. Oh, and it was graceful. They thought that the spider was graceful, appeared gracefully. So they describe in the shimmering web, the way they describe the spider and the web are really positive. They're shimmering, they're graceful, they're beautiful. If you didn't like spiders, you would say it was big and sticky and scary, not shimmering and beautiful and graceful. Um, zoomed in with her magnifier or his magnifier. So they zoomed in so they could look at it really carefully. It was beautiful. They thought the spider was beautiful. And they took out their camera because they wanted to take a photo. These all are things in here that show us that this person is really excited and happy about spiders. And then when the spider scurried away to its new hideout and they cried with disappointment, that shows us that they really, really wanted to see that spider and they really looked at that spider. So there's a lot of evidence in this piece, isn't there, to show us that the person in this story really likes spiders and is really interested in them. Lots and lots of evidence. Did you find it all with me? Fantastic. Guess what? We've come to the end. But before you can go, you need to make sure you've got your independent activity. So we've been reviewing all the different graphemes for the long I sound today and the suffix meant. So Ment goes on the end of words of a base or a root to change it. And it changes, usually it changes the verb to a noun. And it means the result of or the act of. So in our story, we had amazement. The person stared in amazement. They were amazed. And it was the result of being amazed was amazement. And there was another meant word in here too, disappointment. They were disappointed. And that was the result of their being disappointed was disappointment. So good job. I don't know if there was any more in there. Oh, I can see equipment as well. When you have a read through for your independent activity, see if you can find all the ones that have meant in them and see how many different long I sounds you can say, find in there as well. Because your task today, after you've reread the story three times, like we always get you to do, with lots of expression and interest, your independent activity today focuses around that spider. We want you to be interested in spiders as well. So... After reading the passage three times when it comes up on your screen, we would like you to find a picture of an orb spider. We'd like you to draw a really accurate picture of that orb spider and then label the parts of the spider to create a diagram. So, you know, put a little arrow and legs and you might have different body parts. You might even find out special names for those body parts. Increase your vocabulary about spiders. And then we'd like you to write three questions about the spider. So not three facts, but three questions. So we've got some examples to help you. So it might be how many, you might say, how many eyes does an orb spider have? How many legs? What does it, what does it like to eat? What does it do? What does it spin its web from? Where would orb spiders, where would orb spiders live? Where would they hunt? You can find lots of different questions. So remember your questions start with what, how, when, why, where. Three questions we want you to try and come up with. So when you know some facts about it, you can write some questions. 
then test your people at home. See if they can answer your questions about orb spiders and you can be a spider expert and let them know the answers. They would think you were so tricky if you did that. You've worked really hard doing all those different graphemes for the long I sound. We've looked at that suffix meant. We've read and written words using those and you've done such a great job. Thank you for working so hard with me. I'll catch you next time.